one of the more surprising things that I learned in the course of, of working on the book that I did not see coming at all was a story about Br uh, Bruce's brief flirtation actually being the recipient of the flirtations of Janis Joplin. And we're talking days after the Woodstock Festival in 1969 when she and her band came through Asbury Park. And uh, Bruce's manager at the time, Tinker West, was friends with her manager at the time, or her road manager. And they ended up, Bruce and Tinker and Vinnie Lopez, the drummer, ended up going backstage to just check out the show at the end of a uh, rehearsal of uh, the band Bruce was in then, Steel Mill. And they were hanging out backstage, and when Janice finished her set, she came rushing off the stage and practically into the arms of a 19-year-old uh, Bruce Springsteen, who, as both Tinker and Vinnie reported, looked straight at him with this expression on her face like, where have you been all my life? She gave him that look, and then they had to drag her back onto stage to, to finish her encore. And when she came strolling out again, or running out, I should say, uh, she said, where did he go? And Vinny said, he went that away, because once she left, Bruce looked back and said, I think I'm out of here. And he bolted out the door and rushed out onto the boardwalk, never to be seen again that night by Janice or anybody. Um, and then later, uh, she sort of like walked off sadly back to her dressing room. And a few minutes later, her manager, the road manager, came out up to Tinker and said, Tinker, where did Bruce go? And he said, I don't know, man, he left. And he said, well, Janice wants to fuck him. Can you get, can you get him back? He said, I don't think I can, man. She, you know, he went out with a, you know, in a rush. And uh, so sadly, that was the end of Bruce and Janice.